moving on, right? Let's talk about how to use the trading view scanner, right? To help you scan for a certain trading setups that you're looking for. So go down to the bottom left of the screen, right? You can see this down arrow. Click on it and you can actually select the markets that you want to scan, whether it's a crypto, forex or stock markets. So let's say we go with stock screener and this tab will pop up. So when you want to scan for stocks, right? You go to filter over here, this blue button, click on it and you can filter stocks according to, you know, whatever parameters it's available, whether is it a descriptive parameters, whether, you know, you want to have stocks in, let's say the NASDAQ 100 in whatever industry and stuff like that. You can screen it according to fundamentals, you know, assets, debt, you know, EPS earnings per shares, etc. You want to scan it based on technical, it's possible as well, you know, 52 week high, 52 week low, uh, three month high, three month low, you know, uh, indicators crossing up and down, etc. So let's say, you know, we, we look for a 52 week, 52 week, uh, 52 week high. Yes. Right, and you just uh, close this, you can see that this particular stock, right, VRSK, the ticker, it's currently meeting our scanning requirements. So if you are looking for 52-week high in the NASDAQ 100, and according to those other parameters that we have selected earlier, this is the stock that has met our requirements. So this is for the stock screener. If you want Forex, it's possible as well. Just click Forex Markets. Then again, uh, go to the filter, the blue button. You can filter by, again, right, a descriptive filter. Or technical filter, 52 week high, 52 week low, you know, indicators crossing up and down and stuff like that. So have a look at the screener, right, and see, you know, whether, you know, it does make your trading life easier when you're looking for trading setups. All right.